In this tutorial, you'll learn why and when to cite your sources. When you write a research paper, it is essential that you document the sources that you used. In order to document your sources, you include citations. In most academic writing, a citation has two parts. Parenthetical references, footnotes or endnotes, inform your reader of the sources that you consulted throughout your paper. A bibliography, which is also called a work cited or a list of references, is a list of your sources included at the end of your paper. You should cite all of the sources from which you drew information. Books, articles from scholarly journals, popular magazines, or newspapers, films, electronic books and articles, and even websites. There are several reasons that you need to cite your sources. Your citations allow your readers to distinguish between your ideas and the information and ideas that you got from outside sources. In fact, by citing your sources, you lend authority and credibility to your work by providing evidence of your research and by helping your reader to determine how you drew upon the work of others to support your own original argument. Citations also make it possible for your readers to easily locate the sources that you used in order to learn more about a topic. Finally, by including citations, you avoid plagiarism by giving credit to the authors who informed your work. You must include a citation if you quote directly from an outside source in your paper, meaning that you use another author's words verbatim enclosing them in quotation marks. Additionally, you must include a citation when you paraphrase, summarize, or otherwise incorporate another author's opinions or ideas into your paper, restating what you learned from a source in your own words. It is also important that you cite the sources in which you found facts, information, data, and visuals, such as images, charts, and graphs. It is not necessary that you provide citations for information that is widely known and considered common knowledge. Some examples of common knowledge are Barack Obama was the first African American president of the United States and Jane Austen wrote Pride and Prejudice. That said, it's sometimes difficult to determine what constitutes common knowledge, especially if you're new to a particular topic or field. So. When in doubt, cite. The way that you format your citations depends upon the citation style that you choose. Different disciplines use different citation styles, such as Chicago, MLA, and APA. Your professor will usually tell you what style to use. Style manuals are guides that will help you to properly format your citations. If you have questions or need help with citing your sources, contact a librarian.